Hi, I'm Jess from Jessica G Photography and today I'm going to be showing you how to use my finishing touch actions. And the first thing I'm going to do is start by cropping the image. And this image is a sewer, which means that I've already applied a preset and I used my Flora presets collection. After I've done the cropping, I'm going to use the patch tool to fix the background. And just use small patches. Now I'm going to be editing the skin and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. And I'm going to start with the action skin, no blemishes. And this is for flaky skin, for small flaky skin. It won't work so well if the flaky skin is um, too big. And when you're running an action, make sure that you have the selected the layer mask and when you're brushing make sure that your brush is set to white in this case and a hundred percent opacity after I do the brushing I select the opacity I want of that layer for the big scratches that you see on his face uh, it will be better to use the patch tool Now before uh, running another action, make sure you merge the layers or flatten the image. After that, I'm going to run the action Flawless Finish. This one might take a little while to run which is why I normally uh, start with this one and do a batch edit and then I go do something else while the action runs. This one will be for skin smoothing and I'm going to brush over the baby's skin. The area around the eyes, the upper lip and chin, I always use 50% opacity brush but everywhere else I use a 100% opacity brush. And then after you, you can choose how much opacity you want on this skin retouching. If you don't want it so smooth, then you can reduce the opacity to, to your liking. So now I'm going to adjust the opacity to about 80% and then I'm going to run the action no reds and I'm going to brush over the red tones only. For this, I'm going to use a 70% opacity, merge the layers, and then I can run the next action. 
In this case, I'm going to run the action newborn glow for the areas that need a little bit more smoothing. And this will vary depending on the baby and, and their skin and your style as well. And I'm going to be brushing over this area here that needs a little bit additional smoothing. And I'm also going to do it on the forehead and the cheeks. I'm going to adjust the opacity around 48% and merge the layers. Now I'm going to use the Action Skin Tone and I'm going to brush over everything, the skin. And then I'm going to change the brush from white to black and go over the lips because I don't want to lose color there. And I never use this action to the full opacity. I always bring it down to maybe 10 to 15%, just very subtle. And again, this is based on the style and how you like to edit. Now I'm going to use the action one click background blur and with this one depending on the background and the setting then you might need to do a little bit of brushing. So in this case we're going to brush a little bit here. And adjust the opacity to 20% and merge the layers and then we can go on. I'm going to use now the one click background smooth. Very similar action, but a bit more uh, blur on the background. So if you have like a seamless paper, this one will look uh, really good. Now, if you uh, have my actions already and maybe they're not working on your Photoshop, just make sure that you have the latest version of Photoshop and that your Photoshop language is set to English. So here I'm going to use about 30% opacity, which is not a lot, very subtle because I don't want to lose the texture on the background. Now I'm going to use the one click haze background and double click on the color, select a deep color from the background and then adjust the opacity. Just a little before and after there. You can increase the opacity or reduce it. In this case, I'm going to use 30%. Now I'm going to run the action rosy cheeks and this is to bring a little bit of color back to the baby. And we're just going to brush over the cheeks and sometimes I like also like to do it on the lips. And I'm going to do about 40% opacity here. Then I notice like uh, he needs a little bit more smoothing around the bottom and the belly area. So I'm going to run the action natural love and just brush over those areas. And I'm going to adjust the opacity. Very subtle here, around 60%. Just a quick before and after. And you'll see, you'll find other actions here that are based on uh, style and what you need for the image. For example, no purples is to get rid of purples and add like a cream tone. In this case, I'm going to use um, Sweet Sugar Glow, which is more like a style that I, I like to use. Now I'm going to run the action Rustic Feels to add a more of a matte finish to 
to the photo. And I'm going to reduce the opacity on that. You can choose how much you want. I'm going to go with like 40% here. After I'm done with the edit, I use high definition for sharpening for digital images and for social media I use the ready to post. I'm going to run the action add some color um, and this is to add color to the photo. So I'm going to do about 20% opacity there and I will show you what the noise action does. This will bring texture to the background and when you run this action just brush over the baby so it doesn't apply the skin the noise to the skin and then i'm going to zoom in just to show you a before and after and it brings some texture into the background now all these here all these actions uh, labeled as yellow they are like background hazes so like different colors, if you like to edit um, like teals or mint or uh, ice blue. My favorite ones to use are wood floor, creamy goodness and perfect cream. And the green actions, these are um, finishing touches that are not needed, but you can choose to use uh, to add a little bit of um, your own style to your editing. And in this case, I use the definition. It's a more of a contrast. So that just depends on, on your style. Thank you so much, guys. I will leave some links for you below. This is using my finishing touch actions. And if you have any questions, I have a Facebook group called Newborn Photography with Jess. And you're welcome to join the group and ask me questions there. Thank you.